Today we have a smart Wi-Fi car DVR, also known as Dashcam. One of the reasons for having this kind of device in your car is so that if there is an accident, it records everything in front of your car. So when it comes to knowing who is to blame or if you need to go to court, you have the useful footage. And it's very popular in Asia because a lot of this scam where people run into the middle of the road and, and head bang against your car and they claim that, you know, you are at fault because you drove into them. But in fact, there's just some crazy dude running into the road and try to make some quick money. And the other one in UK is another scam which is called uh, Flash and Crash. So basically at a junction, they will flash the light to say, Oh, you know, you can go first or, you know, something like that. But as soon as you turn into the turn or you start to move, they will crash into you. And because they have the right of way, they will argue that you are the dangerous driver. This particular device has Wi-Fi function, so it can connect to your phone. And it has a Novitec chipset, a Sony sensor, a display screen in the back to show you what is recording. And the usual 1080p high definition recording. The reason for this video is I always open the box and show you guys what is inside. And if it is good camera or if it is not worth buying, at least you guys have a chance to see it before parting with your money. So within the packaging, this is what you get. So you got the camera. You've got a camera here, which is, I won't say tiny, but relatively small compared to, oops. What, what we have here is a camera, which is relatively small compared to other dash cam that you see on the market. You've got some buttons here, so you've got a confirm OK button, left and right, or navigation button, a memory button power button and the mic is here as well now what makes this one different from the rest of the dash cam on the market is that the way you mount the camera now apparently this is oh, apparently this is a a magnetic mount so what it is is once you attach this to your windscreen this is the base and then the camera goes like this and no matter which way you rotate it should still be able to draw the power from this base. Let's see what else is in here. So you've got more 3M tape. So this is the best adhesive you can get on the market, 3M. You've got the power adapter where you plug into your cigarette socket. I don't know anyone still smoking in the car, but I think this is what they use for nowadays to plug in your, you know, driving accessories. So this will be plugged into the cigarette socket, and this goes into the side of the base here. And put my memory card inside. Okay, memory card is in. Okay, let it power up. Okay, you have to say the screen is mm, not the best I have seen, and also it has a square. You have a square um, dimension. It's not like 16 by 9. I'm sure the footage come out should be 1080p because that's what it says on the box. And now we go through the menu. Now the menu looks really familiar. It just looks like the, any other dash cam that you have seen on the market. So most likely they use the same kind of a software to operate. So you've got your resolution which is 1080p 
we'll leave it at that loop recording yes I want loop recording I like to set it every five minutes so it will record over the oldest file if the record the card is full Now there's one thing I have to mention is that this mount here has a fixed angle so this one is not adjustable but what it does is the bottom plate of this um, base can actually tilt at an angle so it does give you a little bit of adjustment in terms of fitting different vehicles with different angle of the glass but it doesn't give you the flexibility of actually moving tilting up and down so at best this will give you like maybe 15 to 20 20 degrees angle it should be enough for most of the cars but I would like to see this actually a tilted head because with the tilted head and the options of being to swirl around will be a good idea now the main selling point of this device for me personally is that you can actually take it off now I know for a fact that a lot of um, car owners don't like to show that they have a camera mounted on the windscreen when they are away from their vehicles now it's quite troublesome for a lot of the cameras to be able to unmount like unscrew the camera or take off the plastic mount and put it away and you still have the wire to unplug or plug in with this one you can always have the mount on the windscreen and when you want to take this home or take it away all you need to do is just take it off the mount and off you go put this in your pocket you go home plug it on the computer or you know use the Wi-Fi at home to watch the video or do whatever you need to do okay so that's enough of the specification and unboxing let's go in the car and give it a test drive So now I'm in my car, I'm not sure if you can hear me because this is almost like a mic test for the dash cam. This is my uh, neighborhood, I'm just driving around. This is now uh, British summer and it is now around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, so it's about sunset. Um, driving around, so let's see if we can spot the number plate coming up. So the number plate on the right, I can see it now, which is LX. 65 and on the left we got TJ58 turning around the corner here there was a guy there watering his front lawn I'm gonna pick up some speed and see if the compression of the video is any good 
it's a very good test for this kind of camera because if you drive fast there's a lot of movement and um, okay here is a bit of a glare because we're driving almost directly to the sun okay this is now the sun is so bright that I have to really drive slowly should have some of my sunglasses on to be honest going downhill step on the gas a little bit another good test around here is I'm going to turn left and see if you can read the street sign right across the road and just now we were driving from a very bright condition to now a very dim con condition cheers mate thank you Okay, now we turn right again and pour into drive. So let's say you finish uh, driving and you want to take the camera away instead of having to unplug and unmount all you need to do is just pull it down and that's it so that's the camera okay it's still power on because it got a little bit of battery but it won't last very long so when you finish plug it back in there back in position and here we go it start again and you can swivel this left and right it depends on where you mount it but remember i said earlier in the video if you turn it to that or the other side like this you will see that it stopped charging because there is no connection between the metal but if you turn it a bit more it will pick up the power again and it comes in very handy okay I think this kind of camera do have its place because I quite like the feature of actually taking out the camera I don't necessarily like to leave my camera in the car all the time